We are shooting on non-traditional surface today. We have picked a green wall to do the my demonstration today to show you that our interactive projector can work on any surface. Hi, I'm Mike Spria. I'm the Northeast Regional Sales Manager for AG. We're here to demonstrate our interactive projector, the LTXIP 2000. A quick background to it is an interactive projector be able to do annotation and open up files and do presentations for classroom and conference room applications. Uh, we are shooting on a non-traditional surface today. We have picked a green wall to do the my demonstration today to show you that our interactive projector can work on any surface. Ideally, you know, a whiteboard or a screen would be preferred, but again, sometimes none of those are available and we have to do the presentation with, uh, with some type of a service. So we've chosen the green wall today to um, show you the capabilities of what the interactive projector can do on that. We have now our image size and we have our information up on our main window of our computer screen. And basically the computer is hooked up to the projector via our HD15 connector along with the USB port. So both projector and computer are one in this presentation. We have a slight frame on the image itself that we're showing this that went to the uh, annotation mode. And what I have in my hand is a wand. We also have a pen that comes with the uh, product to do annotation information, whether it be via uh, the wand from a step back position or uh, I'll show you in a few minutes to be able to write on the, on the surface with a pen type just like you would on any type of a marker or, or a pen on any type of a surface situation. Basically, I take my wand and I go to uh, annotation mode, which is the pen on the uh, cell pen on the wall, click on that, and it creates this frame which I mentioned before. We now have the ability to do uh, write on the surface. Basically, at this point, I am doing a solid uh, color be able to color out something on that. But if I want to do a transparency where it would be hot to put a color over another color, I can simply click on uh, this icon and call all the colors uh, spectrum. You can click on transparency mode, click back, excuse me, click back and now I'm in a transparency mode. The color red, I'll be able to now do a highlight, highlight scenario with regards to highlighting uh, the bio, which I just colored in half of it, and now I'm highlighting the other side. So I have the ability to do solid color, the fill-in, or a little bit crayon type, if you would, and in a transparency situation on that. I could literally stand back from the, um, from the surface and literally um, do that, or I can physically go to the surface and write up. As I mentioned before, with the one and now the pen, I can do exactly the same thing. I can stand back and literally write, or hold it just like a regular pen or a marker and do that, or physically draw on the wall and in the of what I need to do. Both of these pieces come standard with the interactive package from, from us on that. So, my field of view basically is a semi-circle from the projector position to both sides of the screen image that we are utilizing today, and it has semi-circle on that. The projector also has what they call a one-to-one -one lens on it. So if I want a six-foot image, I may literally have to be just six feet away. If I want an eight-foot image, that's literally eight feet away from the projector position if it's portable. The projector also, could, an interactive piece can be mounted in the ceiling for a permanent installation on that. But again, using a non-traditional surface, we've shown you that um, we can do a, uh, a capability with um, any type of surface that may be available on that. The brightness level you see here is 2,000 into the brightness and XGA, uh, 1024 by 768 from the projector to, uh, to the screen on that. If I want to erase what I just did, which is kind of a little bit of a mess, I go to the eraser, and I literally can physically erase this um, just like so. And if I want to erase the whole thing, I can literally go down to this little X here, and click in the whole thing that's gone and back to my main screen cleared off with all the annotation on that. And most people just want to do that particular feature if they have their own PowerPoint presentation. They want to highlight and hold up a screen, a, a screen and highlight a piece of information they want to talk about to their class or in their, in their presentation. That, that highlight mode um, does that. I also have the ability to um, change the thickness of the size I'm doing this as far as coloring or annotation. 
I have that thickness right there, you see it's highlighted. Let's go down to that. Click on that. And then basically, I have a thin line now that I am now doing an annotation with on that. I have a whole color palette here, or all colors plus a custom color palette that I call up so I can create any color I may need with regard to what I want to do in my presentation. We put that off the screen. Both of these one and hands also that I have in my hand are, are batteries. There's a double A batteries in it, so basically that works with functionality. To do the annotation I've done so far, there are buttons on the on the piece which I literally hold down as I do an annotation and that activates the wand or the pen to do what we're making happen right now. That is the annotation part of it. And again, I can circle things, I can highlight, I can do whatever I need to do. And I can also save to a file. I can save this information, which I'll show you when we go to opening the file in the, um, in the other side of the capabilities of this projector. So from the pen, I go to opening the file. I click that. And basically, my frame, which I mentioned before, is now gone. 